What do you think about giving prisoners and uh, ships brig more than one bill a day? I'm against it. If they are given more food per day, then next they'll want weekends off, and then conjugal visits with their wives. No, I'm against it. Well, but the doctor says they're having health issues because they're only eating once a day. It doesn't seem unreasonable to give them two meals a day, does it? It is unreasonable. If we give prisoners two meals a day this week, then next week they're going to ask for even more privileges. And by the week after next, they will be running the ship. No, they are prisoners and they only get one meal a day. Well, I guess you're right. I, of course, overheard your remarks. Uh, y yeah, yes, sir. Sir. The argument you are employing, Chief Sulu, is not logical. In fact... It exhibits the fallacy of the slippery slope. I thought Security Chief Sulu was very persuasive. That may be so, Navigator, but the form of the argument is invalid. The slippery slope fallacy occurs when a party asserts that a relatively small first step will undoubtedly lead to a chain of related events culminating in some significant, usually negative, effect. But, sir, I only... If I may continue... The core of the slippery slope argument is the contention that a specific decision under debate is likely to result in unintended consequences. Chief Sulu, you committed this fallacy when you held that even allowing a second meal to prisoners would be more than enough to consequentially lead to very bad results. Thank you, Commander Spock. Yes, I will use better judgment in the future. That would be advisable. And Navigator Chekhov, regardless of any slippery slope considerations, the prisoner rations will not be increased, because they are prisoners and they are being punished. Yes, sir. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the slippery slope. It's only logical. Return to your duties.